Any other questions for anybody? No? Okay, well, thanks for joining us this evening. Um, hope you find oh, it's Donny, Kenneth. sorry. Hi, I'm sorry, Donny. I know uh, Kenneth had his hand up as well, but um, just a quick question there. Um, we've actually got everyone back to work and we had a, an apprentice due to start at the start of May. Um, what's the latest with um, more than one guy in a van? We've actually bought a couple of extra vans, so everyone's got a van each at the moment, but what what's the latest with who you're allowed in a van and the boy's only 16 so he can't drive his dad suggested buying him a moped so he can go separately but i don't think that's advised either but um do we just wait for him until things are a bit more normal or is there any way to get him to work and um, i believe the latest guidance and this was in um the CICV forum guidance which had been um released at the beginning of the month i think it was is that in a van depending on what the layout of the van is um there there could be two people in a van right now the there's actually a diagram I wonder if i can post a link to this so we'll post it on the the um transcriptions of the these answers when we post it up on the website but there's actually diagrams of if there are five seats in a van so driver and someone else and then three behind two people can sit and one of them's going to be the driver so the other one has to sit diagonally opposite side um and if you know it's a, a bench seating arrangement three seats at the front then one person either side of there um but that's really the the two arrangements that can be um the case but two uh, from the advice the latest advice that i've seen you can have two folk in a van but they should sit as far away as the seating allows oh yes ian's um okay posting in the so chat do they need to wear masks in that situation um no i don't believe there's any um requirement for that um i, I don't think that's what's um looked at but have a look at page 14 Ian saying there of that document that's linked to in the chat area and you'll Perfect. see the, the diagrams no bother thanks very much no worries. okay thanks nick kenny did you have a question sorry yeah. Oh, Kenny, can you unmute yourself? That's what I'm just doing. I'm trying anyway. Kenny, can you try and unmute yourself? Or even if you can write your question in the chat? I was going to say if you if you put it in the chat facility, your question. That better? That's better. Perfect. Mm -hmm. you can hear that you better? Sorry. <laughs> uh, very similar, very similar to Ian, uh, the question in the vans. Uh, with apprentices travelling, um, obviously we've got small vans and kind of larger vans, I've got three seats in the front. So because I've still got some guys in furlough and I've got some guys back at work, uh, I've swapped the vans around and the guys that are off, the small vans are parked up with them and I've got the tradesmen with the apprentice in the larger vans with the three seats in the front. Um, the only guidance I've heard is to keep the windows down if they're travelling as well, but we're not in a position to have six seater vans and sitting diagonally and you know we've got we have six vans four with three seats in the front and two very small vans and um, so until the rest of the guys come back to work i can't really see much more of an option until we have to know our thing was the apprentices i uh, spoke to the accountant about maybe getting the apprentices to take their own cars to work and then he started going into about business insurance for the apprentices and it was a bit of a minefield so I kind of came away from that. So. Okay, thanks. 
So that was really all that I've got on it. But just more guidance, probably. Um, I mean, bin men and policemen are still travelling together around here in Oban as well, So and probably across the country. So I, I don't know if there's going to be more clarity on travelling two jobs. don't know if anyone knows anything else than that. As I say, I think the guidance that was communicated by the CICV forum, I don't know if you'll be able to click on the, the link that Ian's got in the chat maybe um, later on, but if you if you have a look at, um, yeah. I don't even know if I can share my screen, maybe. Um, I'll have them, I'll have them. Yeah, and, and it's, um, it's quite specific in what it says, and um, it shows you diagrams and such. Now, this is the... This is the guidance. This is um, what, and, and as it's the guidance, it's possible that if you didn't make arrangements for this to be the case for your employees, that they possibly could raise an objection to this yeah. and say, I know that the official guidance is for um, us to have um, a, a certain level of protection in the workplace. Um, and could object to that and could potentially withdraw their labour um, and would be entitled to do so. So, but it, it, you know. It's, it's you know. a tricky one. We are very uh, kind of rural and isolated. So we've, we could be travelling in from 20, 50 miles, 60, 70 miles to a job, you know, and uh, not sure also getting ferries as well, you know, going to Mull mm. or. Tyree, you know, it's um, it's not it's not going to be straightforward. I don't think, you know, and it's either that or even apprentices off, you know. So are you just, are you thinking that it would be maybe three folk in a van, four folk in a van, that kind of thing? No, certainly not. Only two, but having just two in the three seater van, you know, the three seats in the front. So using the bigger van that's just for two, yeah. that for two operatives, you know, until yeah, such absolutely. time and. It might be that the apprentice, well, apprentices have got college dates now as well, so they are going to be back to college. So that will ease it a wee bit for us as well. So, yeah. So the the situation you're talking about of two people in a three seater van, a kind of bench seating arrangement across the front, um, yeah. that just looking at the guidance right now. So three seats, e.g., a flat bed seating arrangement. Um, yeah, so one in the driving seat, one in the far passenger seat, that's a permitted arrangement according to the right. guidance. So, so that that's fine. That's fine. Yep. Have a look yep, at the fine. guidance yourself and just check that it does chime with what you're right. saying. But from what you're saying, I think that is permitted, yeah. Yeah. No, that's perfect. Thanks. No worries. <clears throat> Okay, thanks very much, Kenny. 